everybody and um, good evening um i'm just rushing out but i just wanted to um to address something the other day i put up oh this is jean here um yeah you knew that again <laughs> um the other day i put up um pictures of my final farewell to my um my bookcase quilt if you saw that i believe on episode 98 or something it was um i said goodbye and um, I actually sold it through my Etsy shop and I, I got a really fabulous review. I'm so thrilled. I always sort of hold my breath when I send off a quilt that I sell. I hope that whoever, whoever gets it, the recipient loves it. And she was very, very, or they were very, very pleased. Um, the reason I'm stating this is that I've gotten so many comments about people saying, oh, let's do a tutorial how to make up my bookshelf quilt or a bookshelf quilt or a bookcase quilt um i would love to do that because it's not that hard however i've i've addressed it in a few of the comments i have been collecting fabric forever and it really is a little bit of a challenge to fill a bookcase if you don't have certain novelty fabric image prints what i mean by that is again i've been collecting is you have to have um you can by all means for like books use selvages or just pieces of fabric to look like staggered books tons of tutorials on that as you knew with mine i used lace i used doilies i used handkerchief and i used a lot of fussy cut images that i just glued on and raw edge pieced onto a raw edge applique. Now I have been collecting, and this is one of my folders. I have been collecting, I could do it. I could do a quilt tomorrow. I could do about three or four of them actually, because I've been collecting over the years, images of, of all sorts of things. Um, and I have, um, I have a, up, up on my shelf, I have, um, tons of, um, the, the, uh, fruit and the veg fabric for like the little jars, like canning jars on a shelf. Now, my bookshelf quilts are sort of a, a, a compiling of a whole bunch of different images. There are what are called canning or jar quilts, which are just the, um, just the fruit or the veg. I've done that too, like a farmer's market quilt, a bookshelf quilt, um, or a jar quilt. Of You know, I put the wood around it and I put the molding on. I go a little bit further. But the, some of the images I have, they're all different. Um, and so some, like my quilt, I was looking at it. I had like little china teacups next to a bottle of hot sauce with a teddy bear stuck on the shelf. I just sort of do what I like. I don't necessarily do a theme because I'd be here a month of Sundays trying to find just teacups. Some of the fabrics are getting a little bit more difficult or some of them are getting easier fabrics as you know come and go they come and they they come in print and they're like books they go out of print so quite a few of the fabrics um you might want to source on ebay or etsy um or garage sales yard sales estate sales your like great like grandmother and auntie have some old-fashioned fabric that could be used plus new fabric but the whole point of this is to find images um, in your travels to make your quilt. So what I what I'm saying is I have I've I've collected more images. I have um some of them were on my bookshelf. Quilt. I have little seed packets, you know, little little things. I I've been collecting these for a while. Oh, I have um I had a, I had gotten a fabric. I don't know if you can see this. I'll put them up there. They're little the Mastryka dolls, the little dolls, the little Russian dolls, and. You know, that was a fabric that I had gotten that I, that I had cut out along the way. When I thought, for, oh, I put, I had this fabric. I actually put this on my bookshelf coat, like a blue and white china plate. Um, I've had this one forever. It's a cat. I'll put that on a bookshelf quilt sometime. But this fabric, what I would, I imagine this was about 10 or 12 years old. Um, I had, I have a guitar. I'm doing it up against my black, my black top so you can see. I have a guitar. Again, nothing is in uh, size-wise. I mean, I wouldn't have a little inch teacup with a six-foot cat. That's stupid. But, like, you know, you get the idea. But my, uh, my, my, my reason for making this video is 
I can show you how I make my in 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 you know I, I can show you how I make my my quilt a uh, my shelf bookshelf quilt with my bits on it but obviously you have to start collecting all of your bits or else you can just use um fabric I suppose for the books again you can look up oh look <laughs> there's a there's a and that's a bit stupid. My, 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 my cat's like 10 times. Oh, yeah, but my cat would be bigger than a parrot's or whatever these are. Anyway, anyway, I have all of these things. Oh, look at look at this one. Um, I this is a this is ages ago. This was from a panel. This this little dog. So I could stick that down the bottom. Anyway, what I'm saying is I have been collecting these fabrics, a bunch of eggs <laughs> um, for a long time. And so you might, you know, you're saying, oh, show us how to do it. I want to make one, but do you guys have these fabrics? Not these fabrics, but like fussy cut images to make a really interesting bookshelf quilt. That's the whole point. I will do a tutorial. I'll, I'll implement some of these. I have a whole bunch of other fabric. I have some newer fabrics that I can cut out. I have fat quarters from ages ago. Um, I'll do a tutorial or several to show you how I construct my shelves with my lace and then I'll start putting my bits but your quilt's going to look completely different um, understandably because you're not going to have the images that I have. So anyway that's just that. I will be doing a tutorial um, for my bookshelf quilt. I, I do have some more of my brown wood fabric. I had gotten a lot of that with a black and I have some lace. I have some old lace and I do have my my mom's old hankies and stuff. So I'll be making another one with my images. But what I'm saying is start looking around. I mean, somebody said, oh, it took me forever to find some really interesting things. You don't need a lot. This is what I keep saying. You don't need a lot, but you do need some. You know, um, you could make a small one. I have quite a lot. I probably won't put all of that on because the, the shelves fill, fill up quickly. And my, mine's either, mine's going to be, um, Mine's my bookshelf, my bookcase quilt here with what I have. I think I'll put some fruit and veg in it. It's just going to be a lot of everything. I don't have, oh, excuse me, that's my phone. I don't have a lot of one, one, um, uh, theme going. I have dolls and fruit and feathers and dogs and plates and teacups. I'll put it all on a shelf. That's how, that's my life anyway. So anyway, I'm going to do a tutorial on that. In the meantime, I have a few other little, you know, 10, 12 minute little videos that I put up here and there. Jen is working on um, quilting her, um, her, I mean, sashing and cornerstone her top. I've already done mine. It's so beautiful for Jean's block party. Um, she may or may not be coming a little bit later and we'll do a video if she's finished hers. We'll show you the next step. That's Jean's block party 2018. But this is just in relation to my bookcase quilt of what you guys, the burden is on you. Go out and start finding cupcakes and, and baseballs and all sorts of little stuff that you want to stick on your shelf. Just need a few inches, cut them out, make a pile, um, and don't don't think too much about it. I don't. Just let your just let your imagination. It's what's what's gets stuck on a shelf, right? Um. So it's like a it's it's like a knickknack shelf. Just everything gets stuck on it, and you don't have to worry about scale. It, well, to a certain extent, but not really. So anyway, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on that. But that's your homework, folks. Go out and start collecting fussy cut images that you can fussy cut for your bookcase quilt. Okay. Thanks. Bye.